What's up, y'all? I'm back with another story today. Uh, this story is actually in regards to a family out of Nakina, North Carolina. Uh, this article uh, was published on February 16th of this year, and it reads, After inheriting ancestral land, these black families are defying the odds to keep it. And then the subtitle is predatory developers often target black families whose generational land lacks clear ownership. Now more families are securing deeds to keep their land and create real wealth. OK, so that's awesome. OK, so for decades, countless black property owners simply passed their land on to heirs through word of mouth instead of guaranteeing generational wealth. The lack of clear ownership on paper has created headaches and at worst opened families up to losing their land in the end. So we see what the problem is uh, right from the jump, right? Um, you know, a lot of land were passed down uh, or was passed down to heirs um, through word of mouth, not, you know, necessarily anything always on paper, you know, legally as it should be. And, you know, a lot of these ancestors, you know, thought that, you know, they were actually providing generational wealth. Um, but in reality, it just became a headache, you know, by not really being anything on paper. Um, and then, you know, having predatory, you know, developers and investors come in to try to, you know, just take the land. Okay. So again, this article is in regards uh, to some heirs property in Nakina, North Carolina. All right. All right. So on that land uh, sits a large white house. Um, that house uh, belongs to Roland Smith. Uh, the Smiths have owned that 60 acre plot of land uh, for years in their family. Um, you know, their kids inherited the land, uh, from their father, um, and his wife. Um, and, you know, they had seven kids, excuse me. All right. Um, so in 1910, black Americans like the Smiths, uh, ancestors acquired a cumulative of about 16 million acres of rural land okay and this is according to american uh, economic association but over the century that followed 90 percent of that land was lost because of threats violent force or systematic rejection from programs offered to white land owners to help keep land through economic hardships like the great depression <clears throat> so again that goes back to, you know, revealing more about, you know, predatory, um, you know, land taking, you know, by developers, you know, and different things like that. Right. So with distrust of local governments, which have been charged with regulating property ownership in southern states, hostile to black equality and legal systems that have shut out black families, many took informal routes to pass down ownership. Attorneys and others who work to help landowners gain clear title to their land say that for decades, countless black property owners simply passed their land on to their heirs through word of mouth. But instead of guaranteeing generational wealth, the lack of clear ownership on paper has created headaches and at worst open families up to losing their land in the end. All right. So, you know, they became very vulnerable. Uh, it created what's known as a, a perfect uh, storm. Um, and a lot of hunters, you know, such as developers, you know, came in to claim that heir's property. Okay. Developers take advantage of the makeup of such informal arrangements in which all the heirs have equal stakes in and ownership of their family's land. And with each generation, the number of heirs tends to increase, making it more difficult to prove ownership. Without clear ownership, each person owns only a fractional stake in a property. 
So a lot of people may or may not know that about Ayers property. Um, again, you only own a fractional stake um, of the property, right? So let's just say in a case or in a situation where a developer contacts one of the heirs to the property um, and that heir actually wants to sell their fraction of the property. Well, legally, um, even if the other heirs do not want to sell the property because one heir does want to sell it um, and, you know, they strike a deal with the developer, by law, the other heirs are forced to then sell that property to the developers. So that's just an example of how heirs property actually works. Okay. All right, so yeah, so if an heirs hunter purchased a property of one heir, it can force the other owners into court to define ownership interest in the land. Um, and then also, again, if they're successful in purchasing, you know, the entirety of the land, let's be honest, no developer is just going to purchase it, you know, just to sell it for the same price, right? They're going to develop it, whether that be put single family, multifamily, apartment, apartments up there you know um you know different complexes different things like that right um so yeah again that's just what they're going to do you know with the property right now there are some organizations out there such as the center for heirs property preservation you know who offers legal education and direct legal services for families that want to hold on uh, to their generational land all right so families most often arrive uh, in dire straits legally and economically because of situation, you know, or situations caused by heirs property. All right. So, you know, it leaves them, you know, in a pretty bad situation, you know, um, especially if they actually want to keep the, the property in their family, you know. Because ownership of such properties can be so muddy, heirs typically can't get loans to improve homes, can't get FEMA grants, or use their property for collateral. All right, so, you know, that's just how it goes. You know, predatory developers consider a group of mobile homes on a property a sign that there may be an opportunity to grab property at less than its actual value, right? Because mobile homes are considered to to have less value than, you know, traditional homes, you know, such as single family, you know, or multifamily, you know, units that are actually um, considered real property, you know, a part of the, the actual land or connected to the land. Heirs property hunters could persuade individual family members to sell their shares, giving them the same rights to the land as the family members. Okay. All right. So yeah, um, in this case, you know, is it's just showing, you know, again how these situations occur. Um, you know, you see them pop up in the news um, and different things like that. <clears throat> All right. So for some families, you know, that haven't kept family records and updated legal documents. The process to get clear titles and deeds may be lengthy and expensive. All right. So, um, yeah, again, this is just, you know, showing, you know, an example, you know, of, you know, the heir's property. Um, in this case, uh, Ashley May, NBC News. Uh, it was right here in North Carolina. Um you know, there are some attorneys out here who do, you know, help with heirs property, um, you know, and, and, you know, they can help heirs, you know, in terms of navigating the process, um, even preventative, you know, measures, you know, such as making sure, you know, is there's not a clouded title, um, or titles to the properties, uh, make sure there's wills in place, you know, um, to avoid these type of, you know, situations, you know, if they pass away, um, different things like that. 
All right. Um, you know, in a lot of African Americans who have had these, you know, lands or, or you know, properties or land passed down to them, you know, they actually do or would like the opportunity to protect, uh, protect it. Right now, you know, granted, there are a lot of African Americans that are or may be in dire financial situations or needs, um, you know, that may feel like they need to sell, um, even though they really don't want to, because they know how hard that, you know, their parents or grandparents or just ancestors in general work so hard to obtain that land just to be able to pass it down to them. Okay. So yeah, um, again, a lot of situations like this happen. Um, and, you know, it's unfortunately it's sad that a lot of people, you know, are unable to, or, or first, you know, uneducated or, and are unable to keep their land, you know, especially when they go through these types of situations. Okay. So the family 60 acres, uh, for this specific, you know, article, you know, again, is in Nakina, North Carolina, uh, which is an hour from Wilmington, North Carolina, and a half hour from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. All right. Um, and again, a, you know, desired land, you know, a lot of developers want to come in and develop that land. Um, but the heirs of Eula Bell um, and, and Roland Bell uh, Smith, you know, they... I know they stayed steadfast in this. So, yeah, um, again, this article uh, was published by NBC News. Um, this date uh, was from February 16th of this year. Um, yeah, so I'm interested, you know, in knowing you guys' thoughts, you know, on this. And then also, you know, Feel free to, you know, send me some stories or, you know, share your thoughts, you know, on this topic. And, you know, even if you know someone um, who has, you know, experienced this or you have family members who have experienced this, um, feel free to share the story um, and just, you know, comment, like, subscribe. Um, when you like this video, uh, YouTube you know, helps promote the video and push it through the algorithm, algorithm, excuse me. Um, and, you know, more people, you know, get an opportunity to find out about this. Um, and then also um, how they can help bring awareness to it. Um, and then also, you know, I'm going to show you guys how you can also, you know, not only help bring awareness, you know, and help people, but how you can also get paid in the process. Um you know, to help people, especially, you know, it could, you know, be heirs or just people, you know, that have fallen on a tough time, you know, whether that uh, be through, you know, losing their property to mortgage foreclosure, tax foreclosure, different things like that. Um, but yeah, I'm curious to, you know, know you guys' thoughts. Um, and I appreciate you guys tuning in until next time. Peace.